Hi and welcome to Sipping with Sam. Today I'm looking at Tincture, the Alchemist's Gin. It is distilled by the same people, company, distillery that does Jennifer, Westcliff and several other gins and vodkas too. This one is really incredible because it's a small batch gin. Um, I know that Jacqueline makes her own um, bitters, like everything is handmade, the process is really fine, delicate. So this one particularly is the Nachi. Um, it's quite aromatic, it's very interesting, so I, I just wanted to play a little bit with those flavours. And of course, because it is the alchemist's gin, I'm doing a little throwback or <laughs> a tribute to the Egyptians, because they did a lot to do with the alchemy, um, and obviously I just love dressing up and ancient Egypt. So we'll start off with a double of the alchemist's gin. On the nose it does smell like Nachi, which is really cool. Um, these gins, like I say, are small batch, they're super exclusive. Once they're done, they're done, then I don't think they get replicated. Like the newest batch is a rose geranium one, I think. Um, so as they come, you should definitely buy them because they're absolutely amazing. Then I am going to play a little bit with that Nachi flavor. So I just want to peel this and get, oh goodness, some of that Nachi juice in. Because Nachi is really flavorsome. And then just a little bit of the peel as well. I think we'll help her play with that flavor. And then finally, I'm topping it off with the Fever Tree Aromatic Tonic Water. It's quite spiced. I think it could go well with these flavors. And the color comes out amazing as well. It's so much sweeter than I anticipated. <laughs> I think it might be the Nashi, but it has this really beautiful, fresh, citrusy, but sweet. Mm. It's really good. This is really delicious. I'm gonna have several more of these. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week.